Hello everyone. Are you curious about the presence of minerals in Antarctica? Let's explore. Antarctica, the coldest, driest, windiest, and most remote continent on Earth, holds a wealth of geological secrets beneath its icy surface. While often associated with ice and snow, Antarctica is also home to a diverse range of minerals, some of which have economic significance and potential for exploitation. From coal and iron ore to copper and gold, Antarctica contains a variety of mineral resources that have attracted the interest of scientists, explorers, and resource companies alike. However, the harsh and inhospitable environment of Antarctica, coupled with legal and environmental protections that restrict mineral exploration and mining, pose significant challenges to unlocking the continent's mineral wealth. One of the most abundant mineral resources in Antarctica is coal, a fossil fuel formed from the remains of ancient plants and organic matter that accumulated in swamps and marshes millions of years ago. Coal deposits are found in several regions of Antarctica, including the Transantarctic Mountains, the Ellsworth Mountains, and the Antarctic Peninsula, where geological formations dating back to the Permian and Triassic periods contain layers of coal-bearing rocks. These coal deposits vary in size and quality, ranging from lignite and subbituminous coal to bituminous and anthracite coal, with estimated reserves totaling several billion metric tons. Coal has long been recognized as a potential energy resource in Antarctica, with early explorers and expeditions noting the presence of coal seams and outcrops in various parts of the continent. In the early 20th century, several countries, including the United Kingdom, Norway, and the United States, established coal mining operations in Antarctica to supply their research stations and expeditions with fuel for heating, cooking, and power generation. These early mining ventures, though limited in scale and scope, provided valuable insights into the geology and mineral resources of Antarctica, paving the way for future exploration and scientific research. In addition to coal, Antarctica is also known to contain significant deposits of iron ore, a vital raw material used in the production of steel. Iron ore deposits are found in the Prince Charles Mountains, the Pensacola Mountains, and other mountain ranges in East Antarctica, where ancient rocks dating back to the Precambrian era contain banded iron formations rich in iron minerals such as hematite and magnetite. These iron ore deposits, though relatively small compared to those found in other parts of the world, have attracted interest from geologists and mining companies seeking to assess their economic potential. Copper is another important mineral resource found in Antarctica, with deposits occurring in association with volcanic rocks and mineralized zones in the Transantarctic Mountains and other mountain ranges in West Antarctica. These copper deposits, formed through the intrusion of magma into the Earth's crust and subsequent hydrothermal activity, contain sulfide minerals such as chalcopyrite, bornite, and chalcocyte, which are rich in copper and other metals. While the size and grade of these copper deposits are not well understood, they represent a potential source of valuable metals for future exploration and development. In addition to coal, iron ore, and copper, Antarctica is also known to contain other mineral resources, including nickel, platinum, chromium, and gold, though the extent and economic significance of these deposits are less well documented. Geological surveys and exploratory drilling programs conducted in Antarctica have identified occurrences of these and other minerals in various parts of the continent, indicating the potential for further discoveries in the future. However, the harsh climate, rugged terrain, and thick ice cover of Antarctica make it difficult and expensive to explore for minerals, requiring specialized equipment, logistics, and expertise. Despite the presence of mineral resources in Antarctica, the continent is subject to strict legal and environmental protections that restrict mineral exploration and mining. Antarctica is governed by the Antarctic Treaty System, an international agreement that prohibits mineral exploitation and ensures the protection of the continent's unique environment and ecosystems. The Protocol on Environmental Protection to the Antarctic Treaty, adopted in 1991, further strengthens these protections by establishing strict environmental standards and regulations for activities in Antarctica, including mining and mineral exploration. Under the Antarctic Treaty System, Antarctica is designated as a natural reserve devoted to peace and science, where activities that could harm the environment or disrupt scientific research are strictly regulated or prohibited. Mineral exploration and mining are explicitly banned under the treaty, with the aim of preserving Antarctica's pristine environment and preventing the exploitation of its natural resources for commercial gain. Any proposed mining activities in Antarctica would require the unanimous approval of the treaty parties, which include 54 countries and the European Union, making it highly unlikely that mining for minerals will be permitted in the foreseeable future. 
In conclusion, while Antarctica is known to contain a variety of mineral resources, including coal, iron ore, copper, and other metals, the extent and economic significance of these deposits are not well understood. The harsh and inhospitable environment of Antarctica, coupled with legal and environmental protections that restrict mineral exploration and mining, pose significant challenges to unlocking the continent's mineral wealth. While scientific research and exploration continue to shed light on Antarctica's geological secrets, the continent is likely to remain off-limits to mineral exploitation for the foreseeable future, preserving its pristine environment and unique ecosystems for future generations. The goal of this channel is to answer all the questions in the world in video format. After we achieve it, when you search for anything on internet, you will be able to watch a video answering your question instead of reading an article. However, if we want to achieve our goal of answering 1 million questions, we need your help. Please support us on Patreon by using the link in the description. In exchange, we will feature your name in up to 1,000 videos every single month. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, follow the channel for more related content, and see you later. Goodbye.